Hi there, this is James DeVette talking and um, I just thought I'd throw out this quick video for my new web page so that you can have a look at something along the lines of what the G7 system looks like, the G7 Forex trading system. And this is what I teach in my uh, trading sessions and my training uh, online sessions with my customers. Now what we have here is a normal chart for, a, um, for the Euro US dollar. This is a one hour chart. And you can see that this is based on the G7 system. There are a few very simple indicators that we put on here. And one of them is um, the 200 period Bollinger Band, which you can see on the charts, the blue lines there at the top and the bottom. And those indicate areas where there's a very statistical probability of the price making a reversal in direction, depending on the other signs that follow it. At the bottom here, I've got a uh, 1473 stochastic and a stochastic indicates oversold and overbought conditions. And uh, what we're going to do right now is put in a little trend line, um, just in, as an example of what else we use in these systems. And I'm going to just put a trend line on. There's some more information of the indicators at the bottom there. And uh, we'll go into that a little bit later on. But right now I'm going to put on this trend line from that top point on the left-hand side of the screen down to more or less where the price is at the moment. Um, and you can see we've got a really good downward trend line, which means that the euro is still in a downward move against the US dollar. And uh, if and when we break through that trend line, and depending upon the other G7 indicators and um, setups that we look for, we'll be looking to actually buy the euro, um, perhaps on an oversold stochastic trend line break, Fibonacci level, specific candle actions that we're looking for, all that sort of thing. So um, there we've got the trend line and if we can get through there, um, the downward trend will have been broken and we can look for a rise up. You can see the stochastics already oversold and um, that would be a good opportunity to buy the euro against the US dollar. What I'm going to put on right now is just a Fibonacci level to give us some targets for this current uh, trade setup. I'm going to draw it from the last move up down to where we are at the moment, or the lowest point of this last move down. And you can see in the gray and the green areas, that's the 38% retracement level, the 50%, the 61.8%, and the 78.2%, uh, and so on. And between the green, perhaps even the, the pink area, but certainly around about the top of the gray area, that's the 38% retracement, that would be a good area for a trade target. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration and I'll speak to you soon.